He'll just stand in the middle of the crosswalk here. And we gotta go around. Oops, excuse me. And just stay in the middle of the crosswalk there, just like that. Like as if nothing happened. It's great. So I'm super far behind today. I am. Uh, I haven't even uploaded yesterday's vlog, and it's like 6 p.m. I'm sorry to everybody that follows me. All 23 of you. I haven't even done it. I haven't even eaten anything yet. So I'm gonna eat some bagels and or bread and some cream cheese. And I don't know. I should be okay. Open that ever again. Get out of my house. Don't eat. Don't eat things that have mold in it, unless it's supposed to have mold. Cheese or something. Well, some cheese. So it's already like 6 p.m. This is now getting started with the vlog. Woo. Like the middle of the crosswalk here. That's what you gotta do. Just block the crosswalk. That's how you become a real driver. I really gotta upload this vlog from yesterday. minutes left and hurry up upload that bitch. four minutes remaining Almost 7 p.m. Ah. I was editing the video from yesterday well that's being uploaded I was uploading it I mean I was editing it had to work had to go to work got distracted doing work obviously I have to continue doing that fell behind I was like I got I gotta upload this at some point 6 p.m. Almost 7 p.m. right now. Almost 1900 hours for y'all. So, what I want to talk to you guys about, <laughs> now that I've got you, people's expectations for movies, okay? <clears throat> I'm helping Jeremy write a screenplay. We're co writing a screenplay, okay? This is what we've been discussing is that is, is realism damaging to a, a movie, to a story? That there was a time in cinema a couple, I don't know, years ago where so many movies were just so garbage. They were just not rooted in reality. That you, you can't grasp onto something. You can't latch onto a character. You can't, you can't connect with a character if everything that's happening in their lives is completely out of reach for you. Like there has to be something grounding them grinding them has to be something grounding them to to realism I guess you could say still to real life to things that we can relate to that doesn't happen when it's like a movie about somebody going to space and everything they do or talk about is completely you know irrelevant and we can't latch onto it or anything like that that doesn't happen it's very difficult that person, that character, they still have to show some kind of human traits, something that we can relate to. So, either fear or insecurity, something real and human. The thing is, we, we, we people nowadays, we want something that's still realistic, but not to the point that it's dull. So what I want to know is, do you guys think that a movie, or any story I guess you could say, that it's too good, that's too realistic, that seems too realistic, if it can be actually... I'm trying to think if there have been examples recently where something has been too realistic to the point that it hurt it, it damaged the story. Whether it's a video game, whether it's a movie, whether it's a TV show, something like that. Like it was just too much realism that it, it, it actually was a detriment to it instead of being a benefit. Yes, processing done. And let's publish this guy before something happens and I get distracted. Before I get distracted. We'll go to the end screen and annotations. Let's see. Let's go to the template. I don't like recently I've been doing the the two videos in a, in a subscribe box thing. So here you drag this to the timeline. Uh, in, in the timeline to the point where you want it to appear in. 
Ah, it looks fine. Oh my gosh, I forgot to freaking... I forgot to make the volume normal for... Normalize the volume, basically, for, for all the audio tracks. Ah, so I'm gonna re-upload it. Just upload it. Ah. Every time the weather gets like this, like, kind of cold and rainy, it reminds me of, uh, of the winter in Chile, where I was born, where my family's from. Most of the winter in the Santiago area, where uh, the capital is, pretty much like right around the middle of Chile, it's kind of like this in the winter time. It doesn't really get that much colder, not too much snow, maybe a little bit here and there. Most of the time, from what I remember what it used to be, it was just like a rainy, cold, damp kind of feeling. And it wasn't too terribly cold or anything. It was just chilly. More of a nuisance than anything. I'm carrying Hero's umbrella on uh, on my umbrella. Yeah! These umbrellas we got in Japan. We got these in Japan because they're cool as hell. They were like a no, they were like, <laughs> they were so cheap. They were like maybe eight dollars. This young lady. Hi. <laughs> hey, babe. stuff Siri had never heard about. <laughs> and what that was one of the best stories I've ever had an artificial intelligence tell me.